to the video on grading within Infinite Campus. This video will cover the basics of grading inside Infinite Campus and will show you how to connect the Infinite Campus gradebook to Canvas. This video is designed for our 3rd through 12th grade teachers. There are two main ways to access your gradebook inside of Infinite Campus. The first is by clicking on the hamburger menu. If that's not already showing, that will cause this menu to come out from the side. And then from here, you click Instruction and come over to Grades and select Gradebook. Another way you can access the Gradebook is directly through a course card. So here I'm going to click this course and then I'll go to the fourth tab that says Grades. And this will bring up the Gradebook as well. At this point in the video, you'll notice that my screen is a little different as I have switched to our production site. I may have some options that you don't see, but the basics will still be the same. There's a couple of things that I want you to notice here in your gradebook, and that's with the collapsible menus. These menus are identified with these little arrows. For example, I can collapse the grade tools, or I can expand them, and I can expand the settings. The settings is where we're going to focus for the next part of our video. Most of your settings have already been set up for you by the district. However, you'll probably want to make some changes. Most of our teachers take advantage of gradebook categories and then weight those categories to calculate their grades. Let's take a look at how to set those up. If you click Categories under Gradebook Setup, you'll notice that a menu appears from the right side of the screen. Here, I can add categories for grades and assign weights to them. You'll notice that you already have a default category. If you don't want to use a category called default, you'll probably want to delete this category. At any time you need to make an edit or delete a category, you just click on it. And that will open up the category detail menu. Here you can see that the default category is set to 100% of the grade. That means that if I use this, every grade counts the same toward the term grade. I'm actually going to delete this category because I don't intend to use it. To add a category, click the Add button at the bottom of the screen. Here you'll want to give that category a name. For example, I will call my first category Tests. Then I need to check the box or boxes for every course section I want to use that category in. For this video, I'm just going to use one. Then I need to set the weight for that particular category. I want my test to count 40% of the student's grade. The rest of these options you can leave as they are for now. Then click Save. I can continue doing this to add additional categories with the total equaling 100%. So I fast forwarded just a bit and now you can see that I have four different categories of grades inside my gradebook. Classwork, homework, quizzes, and tests. If you open up any one of these you can see the amount or the weight that I've assigned to these. Remember, you can always assign the categories that you set up to multiple sections so that you don't have to repeat this process over and over. Once I'm satisfied with my categories and weights, I click Close. One of the best things about our change to Infinite Campus is that now we can take full advantage of grade passback between Canvas and Infinite Campus. That means that every quiz, homework, or Chapter 32 test that you give in your class will be reflected inside the gradebook in Infinite Campus. Before we can do that, however, there are some additional settings that we need to change. One thing that you need to look at is the non-campus assignment defaults. That means that if you send a grade from Canvas over to Infinite Campus and you forgot to choose a category for it, this will tell Infinite Campus where you want that to go. So I'm just going to choose Homework. Then choose Default Standard or Grading Task. There's really only one option here for you, Term Grade. Once you get that set, click Save. 
Now we're ready to jump over to Canvas and start building our assignment categories there. The next thing you should do inside of Canvas is once you're in the assignment section of your course, we want to set up the groups for assignments that we use inside of Infinite Canvas. So once again, I'll set up groups for each one of my categories. Tests, quizzes, classwork, and finally homework. Now it's time to get Infinite Campus to talk to Canvas and to match everything up. So to do that, I'm going to click the three dots beside the blue plus assignment option inside assignments in Canvas. And I'm going to click Sync Sys Categories. Now everything has come over from Infinite Campus and I just need to match everything up. I'm not using this default assignments category, so I'm just going to skip it for now. I'm going to come in to test and click this drop down arrow and say, hey, Canvas, tests, well those are tests inside of Infinite Campus. Quizzes are quizzes. Classwork, yep, that's classwork. And homework is homework. I want to make sure that import category weights is selected so it will bring my percentages over from Infinite Campus into Canvas and then I click Sync Categories. So now I can see that the four categories that I use are here reflected and the percentages are the same. Tests are 40%, quizzes 20, classwork 30, and homework 10. Now I can close this window. If I refresh my screen, I'll then notice that there is a link icon beside each one of these categories. That tells me that that particular assignment category is linked to an assignment category inside of Infinite Campus. Now that I have my main category set up, if this assignments category is not going to be used, I can delete it. So I'm going to do that because all of my assignments are either tests, quizzes, classwork, or homework. When I'm ready to create an assignment, I simply click the plus assignment option like I normally would in Canvas. The main thing you want to pay attention to here is that you have the correct category set up. So if it's a test, I want to choose test. If it's a quiz, I choose quiz and so forth. Syncing between Canvas and Infinite Campus should occur nightly, but if you need to force a sync, you can do so under your grades in your gradebook section. The sync option is right here. Just click that to force a sync between the two platforms. While there are many other options inside the gradebook in Infinite Campus, we still primarily want to use Canvas as our main source, just syncing everything as I've shown you in this video back to Infinite Campus. With that said, that concludes this video and you should be ready to put grades inside of Infinite Campus.